that kind of question, the other one, I I think you mentioned it already. I know we've mentioned it like eight times when we discussed him, but TJ Control. What is, can, what does that can mean? you just explain that? <laughs> just teach me. Uh, okay, okay. I, I think, you know, I'm going to give you- Non-engineer terms. Non-engineer <laughs> terms. I'll, I'll give you the Dell version. Then let's let Mark talk to this in a bit, because I think this will be great for Intel to talk to the history here and what it means. The CPU temperature is important from a reliability standpoint. And so as the power is going into the transistors, they're flipping, it creates heat from friction. It comes out of the system itself. And we have to keep the temperature of the die within spec to ensure it can operate over the life of the product. And historically, we control to a TJ Maxx. So when Intel gives us the data or the documentation, it will say, hey, Travis, we got this great new part. This new part has all these E and P cores. Here's the thermal resistance, here's the power, and here's the temperature spec. We go in based upon that temperature spec, and it's typically TJ Maxx, and we control off of that TJ Maxx temperature to build the whole system. Now, there's a lot of confusion in the market because historically, from a, a temperature perspective, everybody in their head has it, hey, lower is better from a, a overall cooling perspective. But from a modern control with CPUs that can turbo, if typical power is 45 watts, but this part can go to 130 as an example, under turbo, and that's just an example, it's not a specific value. What happens is you get very large delta T swings. So historically where you were used to seeing temperatures in the 50 to 70 range, maybe up to 80, legacy five, 10 years ago, back to Haswell, pre-Haswell, now you're going to see temperatures that hug much closer to TJ Maxx. And that's on purpose. It is to maximize performance at runtime. So temperature TJ means the junction temperature. It's literally the junction within the silicon itself. And they've got a bunch, and I'm not going to go into this because there's a <laughs> bunch of sensors within the silicon, but basically that's what we control off of. That tells us Dell, yep, you're doing a good job. I'm where I need to be. You're not overcooling, so we're not wasting it in space, form factor, and size. And yep, you're doing a good job from a performance perspective. Now, if we go beyond that, there is a ton of controls within the the CPU itself that optimized based upon anything from an excursion standpoint, that's power, that's temperature. Um, and I'd say Mark can go into this a little better than I can. Pulling power, like high power, you're going to be closer to TJ Maxx. And so you can look at hardware info logs. So that's a freeware application you can look at and look at CPU power and look at temperature. That's a really good way to compare the information. But in general, what we've seen, if you're gaming, you absolutely, it, it is not wrong to hit TJ Maxx and come down and balance it based upon turbo. If you're doing Cinebench, if you're doing um, any type of benchmarking on a CPU, it absolutely, it probably should hit TJ Maxx if we've done our job right to maximize that performance. And I'll, I'll address something else because since we're on the topic, TCC <laughs> offset, right? Doing yeah. temperature offsets. You are doing that based upon your control. You're governing your PC based upon the user's perception. From a Dell perspective, there is very little benefit of offsetting the temperature because you're giving up that performance for a little bit of temperature deltas. Now, what that does, it may give you a little bit of reliability difference over the long run, seven, 10 years. But we design those systems to TJ Maxx. We design it within the workloads that we have. And every single component on that Dell system is tested to the max temp and max condition. So we go in and put thermocouples on every voltage regulator, every capacitor, and they're all ran at full workloads. I kind of ranted there. I apologize. Go ahead. <laughs> no, this is perfect. No, this is what we're here for. What people want to <laughs> yeah. hear. So thank you. So then when we're, um, yeah. So then you're talking about that. You're talking about like TCC offset. That's, that's more of a comfort for me thing. If yes. I want to control it, if I'm like, you know what? Maybe my system, the, when you're talking about skin temperatures and stuff like that, you're like, maybe I'm slightly more sensitive to that. I want to lower the temperature. That's kind of a good way to give me that control over that again. If I don't like seeing that 100 degrees Celsius, maybe I'll turn it down to 95 or 90. And then my system, I may not be hitting as high of a performance, though, as you were kind of saying, some workloads, it may not actually have any impact on. That's right. But it also just gives me a little bit more control. So it's less about... Cha it's about, about less about getting performance changes and throttling and things like that. It's more just about a comfort level and a control for myself. Mm -hmm.